Hey, what's going on guys? Journeyman here and welcome back to Western Not So Supermare. In today's episode, we take on Tramir Rovers as we attempt to continue our good runner form. Once again, everyone, welcome back to Western Not So Super Mare. So, today we take on Tran Mare Rovers in the Vanarama National League. Let's take a look at two of the fixtures since the last time you joined us. So, um, two very impressive displays in between the last episode and this one. First off, a 5 1 victory over Geisley away from home. Dale Southwell gets in four goals. Weeks Burdebone gets in the other after Derek Daly opened the scoring within three minutes. Dale Southwell is already coming a kind of a club legend. Then we beat Bath City 3-0 away from home in the FA Cup for qualifying round. Uh, putting us through to the first round of the FA Cup, we're playing Plymouth Argyle away from home, I believe. But anyway, goals from Southall, Fitzgerald, and a debut goal for Dion McVoy Johnson coming off the bench. He's a young project I've been working on, and he looks ready almost to make some first-team appearances if we get any injuries. So uh, that leads us all the way up to today's game up against Tran Mir Rovers. They are a pretty big club in this division. Um, professional clubs still found in 1884 got a good kind of rich history so it should be a pretty interesting matchup today top goal scorer is Niall Ranger the former uh, Newcastle striker and uh, he's got, I mean, he's going to get a lot of goals this level. He's valued at £91,000, which is a huma humongous uh, value at this site value. Uh, humongous, um, uh, tremendous, oh, what's the word? Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, anyway, he's, he's just a great striker for this level, as you would expect. He was playing League One football last season for Southend, but now he dropped down to the Van Arba National, where he's scoring goals for fun. So I have to keep a close eye on him. So anyway, uh, that leads us all the way up to today's game as i mentioned a couple of changes to the team unfortunately uh due to richard bryan being suspended i'm gonna have to make a couple of changes i'm actually gonna play louis spaulding but he gets my better interest he's had two games so far this season and been pretty poor in both so a little bit of a risk playing him but nevertheless i uh, will have to make do so let's go ahead and get this game started now being away from home against a team like tranmere and the budgets they have i'd honestly take a draw at this point right now we're 17th in the table they are 14th they're not playing very well so they're going to be up for it then uh, they're probably expecting a win today but maybe we can surprise them and get a good solid draw so i'm going to go ahead and uh, get this team talk out of the way and then we'll get the match started but I mentioned uh, Nile Ranger is going to be the key guy for them. And for us today, if Dale Southwell can continue his run of form and Aaron Williams plays well, then you never know, we might have half a chance of getting a win. But I would take a draw, as previously mentioned. All right, so... Um obviously, this is a, obviously it's a big, kind of a big club. They really should be playing in the league. Uh, here's maybe an early chance, and Stockton fires it just wide of the post. But anyway, uh, Tram Rovers are a bigger team uh, than they're playing right now, the vision they're playing in. They should be playing in the league. Uh, league 1, perhaps, the level of talent, a uh, level of club stature as well. Stockton shoots, and a good save from Purnell there. I actually remember a time uh, when, I, when I went to Tram Rovers to see uh, Sam to play in the FA Cup. Uh, third round where we were three 0 up at halftime, then lost four three with uh, four goals in the second half, all going to Tranmere Tram Rovers. It was a, uh, I mean, it was probably the most worst moment ever uh, as a uh, Saints football fan for me personally, at least living out that experience. Um, definitely goes up up there alongside getting relegated um, against Man United. We uh, lost up for Premier League status for the first time in 32 years or 33 years. So um, I've got a little bit of uh, bad blood against Tramir Rovers. Nothing against them personally, just a lot of bad memories. But anyway, um, the first half is pretty much done here. And there has been little to no action to speak of so far. Um, just a couple of good saves from Luke Purnell. Apart from that, nothing really to talk about. So, I mean, as things stand right now, again, I'm very happy to get a draw against a team like Tramir. So uh, if, as long as we keep the status quo, I think we'll probably get away with a good, solid victory. But uh, we do have, obviously, uh, our, our place in away from home. And so it wouldn't surprise me if Tramia would come out in the second half, all guns are blazing and trying to get an early goal. So uh, here's uh, maybe a highlight here. Southall plays it to Williams. Williams to Roe Turner, lays it into Sakuna. Sakuna to Jenkins to Williams is through on goal. He blasts it in the back of the net. Gets in there. Aaron Williams scores. Pretty much he gets a run of play there. Uh, but he makes it 1-0. 
So a uh, great finish there from Aaron Williams. It's been a couple of weeks since uh, he found the back of the net in the league. So it was good to see him back in there. Another assist from Jenkins, who's proven to be a very, very solid signing for us. So 1-0 up. So just have to hold on now, boys. Come on. There's Jenkins. Maybe another opportunity here, but well played. Clears the Kirby. He's got too much time there on the ball. Lewis Baldwin's gone missing. Good tackle there from Joe Steele. Beautiful tackle. And Jenkins plays a magnificent ball to Southall. It's through on goal. Shoots and scores. And he makes it 2-0. Dale Southall gets his 10th goal of the season in just nine appearances for us. And that is a wonderful finish from Dale Southall. And a great ball there from Jenkins. And another two assists from Jenkins. He actually got two assists in the game against Bath last time out. And that was a great ball forward to Southall. So top stuff all around. Definitely surprising to be 2-0 up at Tranmere. Uh, here's maybe a chance for Tranmere though. Kirby, he's got a man in the box. He finds the Stockton and he scores... Uh, Cole Scotton gets his fourth goal of the season. Uh, fortunately, that was very, very laps uh, defending there. Kirby to Stockton, the back post, who was all alone. And that was a very easy finish for the striker. So we've got about 70 minutes left to go here. Brilly's going to whip this in to Jenkins, who scores his goal for himself. Assisted to, got the other goal. Great performance so far from James Jenkins. 71 minutes in, and we are 3-1 up. So uh, let's make a quick change. Let's have some things up. Let's bring off Theo Brilly, and let's bring on the experienced Perry Ryan to play as a deep line playmaker. And Spalding's actually played pretty well today, so I'm going to keep him in the team. It was the idea to see how well he will play, and then we will play some of the 60-minute mark. But so far, he's done very well. So, uh, yeah, here's another look at the goal. Jenkins smashed it past the keeper. No doubt, no doubt about that finish. 3-1 up. All right, so about 10 minutes left to go in this game. Turner's going to throw it into Perry Ryan. Ryan back to Turner, who crosses it in beautifully. Southall gets his second goal of the game and his 11th of the season. It is 4-1, ladies and gentlemen, 4-1 at Tramir. This is a result I did not expect in a performance of the uh, most sublime quality. I mean, a very, very dull first half, but everything exploded in the second, and we are 4-1 up to the good. All right, so uh, there is maybe a chance here to make it five, believe it or not. Sakuna so gives the ball away there to Maynard. He sets up a counter attack now for Tranmere. Maybe it'll be 4 2. Kirby to Jennings. Good tackle there from Joe Steele. He's been a rock at the back today. Jenkins uh, lays it off to Sakuna. Sakuna has options ahead of him, but lays it off to Turner instead. Turner takes on the right back, who's boom, who uh, takes down Ro Turner. And this uh, looks like a pretty bad challenge from above. He only got a yellow card for it, which means there's going to be a good opportunity here to maybe get a fifth goal. Ryan's going to whip this in. He's a set piece specialist. Whips it in. Taylor makes a clearance, and Nar Ranger will set up the counter attack here for Tranmere. This is a long highlight, which usually means there's going to be a goal at the end of it. Uh, Spalden hits it long. And uh, yeah, this is probably the longest highlight of the game this far. Taylor. Back to Turner, hits it long. Row Turner does well to win it against Stockton. Sweeney, back to Williams. Williams got Spalding on the overlap, who gives the ball away cheaply. And uh, Sweeney does well to win it back, however. Good performance is also today from uh, Dan Sweeney. Williams to Southwell, looking for his hat-trick, and he finds it. Dale Southwell scores his hat-trick, and uh, that is 5-1 away at Tramway Rovers. That is an... Uh, this is very, very unexpected. Very, very happy day, sir, for the Seagulls. And a great finish there from Dale Southall, who's quickly becoming a fan favorite, no doubt. Again, that's his 12th goal in, uh, uh, what's it, nine appearances now? So he's, uh, his run of form has been absolutely sublime. And as you can see, if you look at the, uh, the full-time ratings across the board, everyone played exceptional today. Iluk Pinnell got a 7.6, that's probably the lowest we got, then Daniel Devine a 7.9, but everyone else had a pretty marvellous game. So a hat-trick from Dale Southwell and a very, very good performance away from home. Couldn't ask for a better result. And because of that result and the goals we scored, we moved now up to 14th in the table, leapfrog and Tramer on our way up. So things are looking really, really good for us so far. This change of tactic has obviously worked and uh, the goals are flowing, as you can see, and compared to the start of the season, we've really tightened up well at the back. So 
very very pleasing stuff indeed but anyway um that's going to complete this episode i hope you guys enjoyed watching us tr uh, absolutely trounce tranmere rovers and uh, the next fixture we're going to be against cheltenham town who uh, originally were top of the table and i thought that might be a good game at home so uh, we're going to play Tram we're going to play cheltenham in the next fixture just three games from now i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did remember to drop a like and i uh, will see you all in the next episode goodbye everyone goodbye